Okay. Right. Did you uh, guys, is by any chance, everybody see Community? Yes. That tells you something? Community. Is that good? Community is an on-camera show. Yeah. And I don't know, they couldn't reach you. They were trying to reach you. Um, no, what happened? Yes, they did. One of the characters uh, in a live action show in a comedy uh, gets hit in the head and he winds up in G.I. Joe land. <laughs> <laughs> so the rest of the show is animated. Uh, it's beautiful. And so they, what they did was they called me on the phone and my agent said, they're looking for someone to play Duke. They would like you to do the original. But it was done so many years ago, they're not sure you're capable of doing it. My God. And I said, come on, guy, that's crazy. Well, you know, what was I supposed to sound like? Well, he's going to call you. So he called, I hear, I hear a phone call, and I hear, hello, is Mr. Bell there? And I said, yeah, who is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, gave, I gave him what he wanted, and he said, uh, this isn't, I forgot the director's name, this is about, I said, I'm, I'm looking for Michael Bell, and I said, yeah, it's him. <laughs> And he said, we played the role, he thought he had the wrong number. We played the role of Duke and G.I. Joe. I hear yeah, what do you want? And he said, uh, I said, what, what, do you want me to go, yo, Joe, what is it you want? And he went, okay, that's what I, <laughs> that's what I wanted to hear. I said, let, let me explain something to you. Hopefully you're reaching out to the other actors that played the same roles. You know, if you get somebody that's not that actor and it can, can you know, do that role, fine. But if you want to get the originals, they're all available from, from my knowledge. I said, our asses may have dropped, but our voices have remained the same. Not my ass. <laughs> Except for Arthur's. And I thought Arthur was going to do it with me, but uh, they got this young, sturdy, handsome, big, bull-like black guy who didn't sound anything like you. No. He sounded like this? A lot like yeah. that, yes. Uh, you see, the, the, the only way Michael is a classically trained professional artist and actor and a theater man. And the only way that you can have that described adequately and beautifully, as he just did, was for him to be who he is, you see? That's what Joe Bacall wanted in the actors. He wanted not just experience, but he wanted people like Rocky and Bullwinkle, by the way. All those people were trained classically. Uh, Mel Blanc. Mel Blanc. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not just his voice. Yes. It's his, if he sings his characters, yes. the characters yes. he's done. It takes yes. four guys now yes. to do everything that Mel Blanc did. To do all those characters, it takes four other actors each, to do each, that. Each of those characters are not just sounds. They're stories, damn it. You understand me? Is anybody, am I being clear? Because I, I don't think sometimes I am. I'm, I'm on West Coast time, and I've just get, gotten over a couple of illnesses. And I, I, people say, well, you're, you're a voiceover actor. No, I'm not. And there's a reason why I'm not. And he just gave it. Uh, we, we can have fun playing Darkwing Duck and other roles, but we supply the basis for those roles inside. An inner life. It's enough out of me. <laughs> okay, that answer, that's a hell of an yes, answer to one me. simple fakakta question. Man, sit down, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Man, you sit up there, man, in front of my table and stuff. What's yours? You, know, you ain't right. <laughs> Who are you, man? Will you shut up and let All this right. man talk? Oh, okay. okay. Go ahead.